I want to bring in Allie Bradley now. She's been watching this play out uh, for the last couple of hours. She is in Eagle Pass with the very latest on the situation. What is happening right now at this hour, Allie, and are people still trying to cross? Yeah, hey Marnie, so a few hours into this here this morning, like I said, it's been happening every single day like clockwork, hundreds of people surging over from Piedras Negras into Eagle Pass. So this is a Florida Wildlife Commission boat here passing through, but we want to show you up on the ridge, this gentleman in the black here and this small group of people, they have been in a little group here while, while the other groups have dispersed, Marnie, that gentleman in the black, law enforcement tell us he's an armed coyote, he actually has a sidearm on him. Uh, so that gentleman right there seems to be kind of keeping watch of this group. I don't know if that group is able to leave if they want to, if they're kind of being held by that guy who's armed. I'm not sure, but it is majority women and kids over there, Marnie, as you can see, some really small children over there. However, about a mile down the river, there was uh, groups crossing about a hundred people had crossed over there. I told you in the last live shot that they kind of dispersed a little bit. That's where they went. They went about a mile down the river. And I know while you were talking to some law enforcement, we were showing that live shot. So you saw the stream of people crossing the river that was just down the way here. But it's really important to note here, Marnie, where we're standing right now, we're about a mile away from the port of entry. As you know, under the Biden administration, they extended that legal pathway to allow migrants to apply for legal asylum through the CBP-1 app at a port of entry. However, this is all still controlled by the cartel. Even if those individuals want to use the CBP-1 app, if the cartel has other ideas like that guy, that's what they're gonna do. If that's the way that they want him to cross, that's the way that they're gonna cross. And now what we're seeing out here is we've seen Florida Wildlife Commission. Why are they out here? Well, they've been out here for about six months. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis teamed up with Governor uh, Greg Abbott and sent that Florida law enforcement team down here. They're I did ask them, because this is really important, SB4, sweeping immigration legislation just passed the Texas legislature last night. That will give immigration powers to local law enforcement, to peace officers. They'll be able to arrest migrants who cross the river like this illegally. They'll be able to charge them with illegal entry. Now, that was something only reserved for federal agents in the past. What's interesting is Florida Wildlife Commission, we just talked with them, they have been given the same authorities that Texas DPS has under Governor Abbott. He signs their jurisdictional power so they can enforce the law in Texas. That means they will be able to enforce SB4 as well while they're on the ground here. Now, SB4, it does not go from straight from a law enforcement individual to you got to go back across the border. What's going to happen, Marnie, is if they apprehend someone for crossing illegally and can prove it, they have to be able to prove that they crossed illegally, then they're over to a magistrate. The magistrate is going to offer them legal counsel, a translator if they need it. They're going to also give them the option to either return to Mexico voluntarily or be removed um, after being prosecuted for a class B misdemeanor. So either way, they're going to go back to Mexico under SB4, according to this bill. Now, Governor Greg Abbott still has to sign that. It is not in law just yet. So what we're seeing here is we're still seeing people freely cross. They're coming over. They're ending up on the riverbanks here, Marnie. And then they have to walk about two hours down the way in order to get past all of this concertina wire, because there's three layers of concertina wire here. This is all part of Governor Abbott's plan. His plan with Operation Lone Star was to repel and deter illegal immigration. It's exactly what we're seeing. It's deterring them in the sense that they have to walk down there, but they're still crossing. So he's not stopping that, right? When they get down there, Border Patrol will eventually receive them, pick them up. They will be transported for processing. What's interesting, too, is we've only seen one or two Border Patrol agents out here. Not a lot of response from them. The Border Patrol boats driven by twice didn't stop and talk to people. We didn't see them helping anybody. Really interesting to see Texas and to see FWC out here throwing life preservers and assisting the migrants and seeing Border Patrol kind of just blow by Marnie. So a really um, interesting scene out here this morning. Texas DPS airboats down here in the water watching this scene here. It looks like the scene down the way is kind of dissipated. It looks like those individuals have gotten across. But we're going to stay out here and keep an eye on things, Marnie. But again, Jamie, let's go back to that guy here on the hill because I think that that's an important shot. So that guy right there, we're keeping an eye on him. And it, it is, I mean, eerily quiet out here right now. Um, and he's advising them and talking to them, but he is armed. And so law enforcement is watching him. And again, 
He's probably running the show over there. He's probably deciding when those people move, what happens to those people, uh, and what's next for them. So, you know, the cartel's winning, as law enforcement says. It's a $13 billion a year industry, Marnie. Right, and they're listening to him because what's on the other side of that river is something that they no longer want to be a part of, and they see a future in the United States. Ali, thank you. Uh, we'll check back in with you shortly. I want to bring... Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider, and don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased, coverage.